Hello oh, friends, I'm Colonel Failure, you're back on the car mechanic sim and uh, 2021, just, just you know, so you know. And I've got this, uh, what, what's it called, it's a, a something moon, uh, a Hinata moon or a Heiner TA moon Mark 1. The, the kerning's a little bit wacky here, so maybe it is a Heiner TA moon, I don't know. Uh, but this is the, the Sunrise version, it's from 1999, it's a lovely lovely looking car and i've been i've been working on this a story mission job in it uh, well the thing with the story missions is the the story aspect is uh hold on when you go over here that they, they start rabbiting away now this one came in with i'll oh, change the oil instantly the car doesn't run um or the car or the engine th there's a knocking sound i've spent the last four 45 minutes trying to figure out what the problem is and uh i've found a lot of things that are broken Apart from these two bits, and I don't know where they are. Now, since you were last here, I've expanded, I've added a second bay, and that's because I've started taking on the, the, the story mission stuff. Uh, and, uh, and occasionally, that gets a bit expensive, so getting in a nice cheap second job... Uh, that you can work on while you're, you're waiting for the cash to be able to buy the parts for... Your main gig is uh, is pretty useful, right? I'm gonna let's uh, give me the the emptier here, because I've I've decided to just to just go through the entire thing. Go on, empty the empty the the gubbins out of that. Empty the radiator, because I got I got done for that last time. I took a radiator out without emptying it. Uh, they had a they had a go at me for for spilling fluids all over the floor, and I go no, it's not it's not spilling fluids all over the floor. It's building character. Uh, but yeah, I should drain drain all my fluids, uh, and uh, and then return them to the tribe. Uh, would probably be the best way to go. Um, anyway, we've I've I've even started stripping down the flaming engine block, and there was a problem in there, I'd, and it's making me regret not having taken the block out of the car. Uh, I'm t to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. I've got the uh, I've got the lifter to do that because uh, we had a we had a camshaft uh, giving me giving me the the, the heave ho which basically all this adds up to this is going to be a very expensive fix this other one and looks all right yeah you've got a rusty nut and we've all been there um but uh, but i don't think that's a problem what the reason i'm poking around here at the moment is if i can get underneath which i can't can i get out no you can't because you need to lift it there's a there's a flipping piston in there that's no that's no ruddy good to anyone I'm gonna to have to take this out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this is—it's a drag taking this out because you've got a lot of bits to uh, to interface with in order to get it out of it. But uh, you know what? You get one XP for every part you remove, and one XP for every part you put it put it back in. So, taking the entire car apart might not be the worst idea. I've, I have taken everything off this car. It has got no running gear whatsoever. Um, uh, all the suspension's been removed, and uh, and I'm now dismantling the engine. I'd it, why they can't come in just going, oh, could you take the entire car apart, please? And you go, oh, I suppose so. Uh, so I think it's that one. Yeah, there we go. Piston McCon rod five percent. Uh, let's see if that's knocked everything off my list. No, still one more. Ah, oh, flipping heck! All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Whack the rest of these out as well then. No, that's not it. These all look fine. Hold on. Hold on. That looked promising. That looked promising. We've got it. We've got it. Yes. Okay. Right. So here's... Here, I'm going to show you my workflow, such as it is. Uh, why did I not just whip the engine block out? Where is my, my engine block and tackle uh, here? Where is, where's my uh, the, the hoofa doofa for that? Have I not bought it? No. Surely you get one of them as uh, lift it out, spin it around, all of that kind of business. That was one of the funnest things to do was was build engines in isolation. No, maybe maybe I haven't bought it. All right, let's have a look. Uh, go over here. Right, tools. You've got the workbench. Yes. What does that need? It needs the renovator upgrade. Oh, does it? Oh, no. why are you red? Garage extension. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Body repair. Yeah. Engine engine tools. There we go. All right. All right, the engine stands an upgrade. Fine. Well, in which case, this this mission here suggests to me that I am ahead on story missions versus 
uh, where I should be because I haven't got all the equipment that I need. Uh, but I have got it. Well, I have. Uh, we need, uh, I need... No, I don't want to sell it. Give me two of those. Yeah. Right, what else? Rod caps, apparently. We need a load of them. Uh, what are we talking here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's what we know of. Uh, what else? Give me a sh camshaft, a cam gear, a timing chain. Uh, spark plugs is fine. I've got loads of those in stock. Yeah, it's got to the point where I've where I've started buying in extras of stuff that I'm going through on a regular basis. Anything else? Bushings. I've got loads of those. But you know what? I'll pick up a couple more anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. Dino needs a flywheel. It needs a clutch plate. I've taken those out. Uh, it needs a front drive shaft. That's not going to be cheap. Uh, the sway bar. I've got a front sway. No, no, you haven't. And I definitely need some wheel bearings. I thought I needed a couple. Let's buy four just in case the need arises. All right. Okay. I think that's pretty much the whole shopping list. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it all in one. Uh, let's have a look. Right, fuel filter. Well, I go through these at a rate or not, so, I mean, I really should stock those. Uh, knock it out. Right, air filter. Yeah, let's have that too. Yeah, that, it's a system. These are 80 a, a go. That's, that's all right. Now, the 5% discount uh, is, it comes into its own when you start doing repair jobs that, uh, that require, how many of these did I say I needed? Let's get eight. I think I needed six, but uh, but let's get eight of those. Um, yeah, it comes into its own when you do more expensive jobs because the more you spend on parts, the more you then recoup when you uh, when you end up charging the customer. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's 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 the system. So so jobs like this, as much as it's going to eat into my capital, uh, I should do quite nicely out the other end of it. You <laughs> yeah, you say uh, should can't can't do that here. Uh, ignition coil, of course. That's, that's electrics. Let's pick up a couple of those. I know I've got some in stock, but you know you can never have too many. The flywheel's expensive as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I've set myself uh, a, a floor limit of, uh, of make sure I've always got two grand in stock because that means I can do just about any job that comes in the, in the door that isn't incredibly complicated. Uh, but we're okay. I can't really expand any more than this. Without uh, without eating into that, you know, reserve capital budget, and so instead I'm you know, I'm treating you to letting me, you know, watch me go shopping. You lucky people. Now this is what passes for entertainment these days, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 really, they're only twelve quid a go. All right, I'll have six of them in case I need some more later. Right, good. Kill off the shopping list. Go and get a couple of ignition coils. Did you buy wheel hub bearings? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah, good. Take me over to that one. And then uh, last job, this one. Right, pair of. Okay. Good. Right, that's super. Now, let's see uh, how slowly it's going to take me to put this back together. We'll, we'll start out by reassembling the engine. And if I come across any rotten parts while I'm trying to do that, then we'll, we'll know, won't we? Right, slap that in. Yeah. I don't care if your rings are rubbish. They uh, they pass muster as far as are these rings up to passing muster? The answer is yes, and therefore they're good. Right, bang the engine head back on. Uh, also, oh, I found I found investigation. I was talking about investigation mode last time around, where you where you actually go uh, looking for things that are broken. It's a different button. Uh, I'd, I'd I'd gone one step too far. So it does exist. It's me being a plonker. Um, but, uh, I mean, that's, that's part of the course, right? I'll tell you what, I'm not going to make you sit through me putting all of these back in because it takes flipping ages. Right. Good. That's all that lot in, uh, engine head cover. I'll put the, I'll put the spark plugs in as well as you do. Uh, cause might as well, I bought like 20 spark plugs when I needed some last time around. I thought, yeah, it's not the last time we're going to see you bad boys, is it? And since you're a, a generic feature, I might as well get loads of them. Yeah. Yeah, you see, this is this is thinking. The one thing I don't have that I really would like is the uh, uh, is the workbench, so that I can actually do some work on repairing these things. Um, the, it's not that big a cost saving. They've they've game balanced the economy of it, uh, but I'm already finding that if I keep hold of some uh, 
some semi-broken bits. Depending on the customer, you can you can palm off the uh, uh, some of the bits that one customer doesn't like because they're they're under whatever it's called. You're gonna have to go under the car for that one. Um, what am I saying? Oh yeah, let's say you take a, a 65% part off one car because they're not happy about it. Another car might be quite happy with a 40% part, and so you can recycle it and make double uh, double bubble on the on the money. It's all good. It's and, and that's you know you uh, you've got to find the ways uh, to generate as much cash as possible early on. Uh, the big cash, of course, comes from uh, grabbing a, a a broken car, fixing it up, and uh, and selling it on. That'll keep you in uh, in pocket money for quite some time. But I'm I'm a little way from having the capital to do that because you not only need to be able to buy the thing, but you also need to be able to uh, pay for any new parts that it might require. All right, well this is this is relatively straightforward. This is where the paint by numbers bit come in. It kind of goes like you're missing a bit here. I go all right, we'll do this bit next. Um, taking it apart is actually more difficult than putting it back together. The reverse of reality because taking it apart sometimes you've got to take it apart in the right order because uh, it's it's implausible to be able to take one part out without having done the other bit um but uh no it's, it's yeah it's all good it's all good and of course you can play it without any guidance whatsoever i don't know what that would do for for part silhouetting uh because uh the silhouettes for someone who is not that mechanically uh minded is uh, that it's pretty essential uh, oh, also, oh yeah, it, uh, if you try to track down a rogue bushing or similar, just mark it. Hold on, let's, uh, let's go into here. Yeah, if I go cam gear A, if you mark it by clicking on it, it will now highlight it. Hold on, I'll show, there you go. See, look, see the little blue outline thing there? Yeah, it's very faint, but it's enough. It's enough to draw your attention. So if you're looking for like one manky bushing somewhere, uh, then that's, that's the way to do it. Don't just try and eyeball it because you'll be there all day. Uh, okay, come on, get on. That's it. There you are. Right, slap this on as well. Yeah. I'll tell you, this, this gig better pay well. Uh, what it will do, though, I mean, it will definitely give me XP and it will give me another crate because uh, story missions all, re all, re all reward you with a crate. Um, and we do see, look, it's still highlighted despite the fact I finished it now. All right, yeah, stop being hot. Stop it. Not interested. There you go. See, we can look, look getting, th getting through it. We're getting it done. Um, I do, one of the things I like doing best, and it's a weird one, and uh, one of my one of my favourite things to repair is the uh, is the gearbox. Yeah, I know that's a fascinating piece of information for you. Um, yeah, no, I find the gearbox one of the most satisfying things to put together. That and brakes. I mean, brakes because they are a doddle, uh, but uh, but I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. It's just I find that. Uh, that there are some things that are, that are far more interesting to put together than others. There we go. So you've got the flywheel goes on, right? And then you uh, you stick your clutch plate on top of that, yeah, right? Uh, and then you've got your pressure plate goes on top of that, which is nice. And then you screw that in, right? And that's that's that kind of sub assembly all uh, all dealt with. Um, I don't know. Maybe because it looks like it's out of a spaceship. I bet that's it. You know, I bet that's why I like it. And then you just bang the gearbox on the top. It's no It's not mechanically different to doing anything else. I just find it satisfying to put it together because you go plate, plate, bearing, flipping, whatnot on the top, screw it all together, all of that stuff. Oh, I find that to be quite, quite therapeutic. I don't know. I can't explain it. I, I'm just. I'm sharing. I start a motor's engine bay. Okay. Uh, cool. I didn't think I'd taken the coolant out. You know, you've drained it. You haven't taken the reservoir out. Okay. Fine. Right. Let's. I. Th I think that's most of the kind of major engine parts put back in. Uh, let's start. Uh, let's start putting in the big stuff. Uh, steering rack. Let's put the front section, cross member, beam orientation section, member beam, in there. That's the t that's the ticket. Yeah, lovely. Uh, give me some. Yeah, oh, I can't get enough of rubber bushings. They're they're great. And it's when you if you if you've never played before. Let me tell you, the, the fun you're going to have with rubber bushings. Because uh, you'll, be you'll be trying to hand the car back to the customer. And it goes, you've missed the rubber bushing. And you'll go, oh, no. 
The reason being is they're an absolute ruddy nightmare to get hold of. You, you kind of go, well, I don't know where it is. It'll be, it'll be in there somewhere. So you go through all the likely locations and after a while, you start to get a feel for, right, there's four over here, there's two up front and then there's two back here and you just, you go through the process of elimination while trying to keep your brain oriented in the direction of, have I done that one? So you're invariably looking at the same one four or five times in a row and it's all, it's all just a joy. All of it. It's all ruddy joyous. Yeah. Anyway, this customer is going to be flipping made up because they said they'd taken it to a whole bunch of experts and not one of them can figure out what the problem is. Mercifully, of course, I'm being assisted by an AI that is going, it's this bit. If you, if you take enough parts off the car, it will explain to you very thoroughly uh, where it is, what the problem is, what's, your, what's the issue. Uh, I don't think you can... Can we do this way bar now? Yep. Okay, cool. Then we'll get all of this end done then. Uh, oh, if, since we're on the topic... The bit I find least uh, least enjoyable um, is uh, it is putting shock absorbers together. I find that to be a right faff, uh, and uh, I'll I'll demonstrate that at some point. I'm sure because the jobs come up often enough. No, uh, it's uh, there's, there's no fun in that putting springs and caps and all of that caper together and sticking it on the separate machinery and then bring it back over and weld it onto the the piece of whatever. Right, we, look, I'm going to put the wheel on. As a way of demonstrating, I've done this one. See, that's thinking, that is. I mean, it might not be the most astute thinking, uh, but it, that is thinking. That will allow me to go, I have done all the obvious bits here. The bits that are less obvious there, I have not yet done. But that's because they're less obvious. If they were more obvious, I'd have done them. But they're not, so I haven't. Right, good. Right, I, I'll finish putting the front end together, and then uh, and then we'll take a tour of the back end, shall we? Well, why not? Uh, it, it seems like it's too nice. I I didn't put the lower suspension arm on. I told you I'd missed something. You sure you didn't put it on? I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, here we are at the back end of the car. We've got the cross member in. We've uh, I've just put in the sway bar. This is this is all good. See it? More bushings. Yeah. Actually, these should be hundreds. I guess I'm, uh, I guess I'm going through my backlog a little bit. Yeah, well, never mind. That's no, fine. Yeah, I mean, I'd, this one took a long time uh, because uh, I started out with uh, with a list of no items. We didn't, we had no clue uh, what what the problem was. So I did a bit of a, a visual inspection and found about half of them. Uh, but I haven't got all of the diagnostic tools that you would like. And the, the rattle track, whatever that's called, um, is, uh, is a biggie for that. But that's 10 grand uh, to add that to your workshop. So I'm, I'm less bothered. So uh, what started out as a, a bit of visual inspection and then take that bit apart and see what else you could, uh, you could find in there ended up being, uh, right, start taking everything apart. When you're down to six items, you know no idea where they are. Just start ripping the car up and, and finding dodgy bits. Uh, the, the good news is that the car is made up of maybe 150 pieces. I don't know. I've not counted. And neither am I going to because I've got better things to do with my time. Um, but yeah, that it's, you know, you're not talking a phenomenal number of pieces. It's time consuming, certainly. And that's, that's another thing the game's missing is uh, payments by the amount of time it takes to do a job. So if you're replacing filters, for example, I think the payment on replacing filters is like 120 quid, including the parts. And you go, yeah, but I mean, that's, that's a couple of minutes work because you've got to use both heights on the lift. This is not a, a Bosch Bosch job done kind of a gig. This is a, you know, there's quite a lot to it. Um, so yeah, it doesn't, I, what, what would also be nice is the ability to, uh, to set your own prices. So if you wanted to set a higher hourly rate for labor, which let's face it, you're a mechanic, so you will, uh, then then you should be able to. And and, uh, and that should influence the number of jobs, the quantity of jobs that you actually get coming through. There you go, see, that's, that's one of those hidden, hidden bushings, that one. Yeah, I saw you. Did you see the one on the other side? I might not have done. Okay, I, well, you're not done here anyway by a long stretch, so... Uh, 
So carry on and uh, and remember to do that bit when you get to it. Okay, right, yeah. Okay, no, it's, yeah, it's just uh, one one step in front of the other. But yeah, I, f I find that uh, every time I have a garage bill to pay, it's very expensive. And I find that the customers in this, they're getting away scot-free. Now, obviously, it all scales. So the, the price of add-on equipment and uh, is, uh, is significantly cheaper than you'd get in the real world. Uh, so that it feels achievable. But you still have to do a heck of a lot of jobs in order to get very far. Uh, I'm probably, what, three hours in now? Yeah, thereabouts, about three hours in. And uh, uh, and I'm, I'm grinding out knucklehead jobs in order to be able to afford stuff to be able to do more exciting things. And I get that the, uh, the developer wants to keep you playing for a long time. But this is where uh, Car Mechanic 18 got it entirely wrong. It needed you to play for absolutely ruddy ages to do anything useful at all and uh, and I haven't got that kind of time and that's the thing with uh, with grown-ups is uh, they tend to a have no time and b have some cash so you know that's worth bearing in mind whereas your young Herberts what they do have is time aplenty what they don't have is cash so uh, so adults kind of go more DLC yeah thank you very much uh, if if you feel that the value proposition is there, um, and obviously that's a personal decision for you to make yourself. Uh, whereas the young Herbers are kind of go, well, I've <clears throat> I've played a thousand hours of this. I feel ripped off that you would try and charge me some more. Whereas I'll quite merrily go, I've played five hours of this. You got anything else for me to uh, to slap onto it? Or some hats? I like I do like a hat. I don't. I don't, I'm, I'm not faced by hats, but sunglasses. You can get me on sunglasses every day of the week, but hats, I'm just not fussed. Right, there you go. Okay, we haven't... I'm, I'm missing stuff all over the place, I'm sure of it. My attention to detail is so-so. Occasionally, it's a little bit better, but mostly it falls into the so-so category. Uh, right, where are we? Uh, yeah, check you've got cross members and springs and all of that kind of gubbins going on over here. Right, I don't... Th think I put the uh, I don't think I put the spring back in do you not no you sure yeah no it says says you're about oh no no you get it mr. bushing yeah oh, flipping that's how to get you there you go oh, and now we're on it right yeah yeah yeah. you want that yeah yeah flipping cheeky small bushings hiding there there you go you didn't put the spring on no I didn't well I'm putting it on now well, I see that. That's that's clear. Yeah. Uh, also, putting things on from weird angles. That's uh, that's one of the USPs of the game. That is. If you've got a slightly weirder angle, I can put this on from. I'm sure we can oblige you, sir. Right. Let's see what's on the shopping list. Still, clutch plate. I'm pretty sure. No cam camshaft. You've done the clutch plate. You haven't done the camshaft. Uh, and then you've got crankshaft bearing caps. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's going to need me to be underneath. Uh, right. Whoop. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's all fine. That's okay. It's just another... It, it's not as many. Not as many of these this time. Some, obviously. Whoa, 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 whoa. That rod cap was only 11%. Good deal. You can't put that on. That will never do. All right. We've got to go and get a rod cap. Okay. Yeah. We might as well get a cap for emu at the same time. You're welcome. Yeah. In fact, I need three rod caps by the looks of it. Because uh, I've got three to do. And the rod caps that I've got are all rotten. Double check. Yes. Three rod caps. Righto. And then uh, we've got to put the uh, put the sump cover back in. Right. Rod caps are going to be in main. Yeah. Uh, rod. Yeah. Cap. Thank you. Uh, le trois. Pour favor. Thank you. Lovely. All right, bang them on. Uh, part mount. Get them on there. There. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good. Nice. Good. Uh, if you've if you've got uh, you know the Netflixes or the uh, the Amazon's Prime uh, in the backgrounds, this the hours will just fly past while you're merrily screwing stuff together. And I'll tell you something else. It doesn't have to make you think. You know. If I were to pick up a rusty old knackered something or other from the 1970s and uh, 
I could I could take it all apart because I, I know how to do that now. I've seen it. And then uh, and I'll go down to Halfords and I'll, I'll get the bits that I need because you don't know anything. Um, and uh, uh, and then I'll, I'll put it all back together again and I'll have, I'll have restored a car. Yeah, good luck with that. Let me tell you, I don't even need to try it. I, I, but I will tell you without, uh, without any shadow of a doubt that what you'll end up with is a rusting heap uh, somewhere on your premises that will never get done. Oh, sure, the first weekend you'll set off with a fit of enthusiasm and, and take it all apart, which will mean that you'll probably have a blanket on the floor covered in oily and rusty bits. Uh, if you're smart, you will have you'll done some documentary kind of activity like, fact, how am I missing a camshaft? How have I got to this stage and not done that? I don't know. And, uh, yeah. Have I turned this from a dual cam into a single cam? I rather think you have. I see. How do these... Th how have I even done that? It shouldn't have let me put it back together. <laughs> or maybe I put... Maybe I put a broken bit in. Oh, no. Okay, right. Well, look. I've got... I've cracked it open. And I've got camshafts. What's your... I haven't... Uh, I have missed one. But uh, evidently... One of them is uh, a load of old rubbish. Uh, this one's a load of old rubbish. Okay, all right, fine. I didn't notice that putting it in, but I'll whip it out and stick it back in again, and, and we'll, we'll see where that gets us. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's slightly weird. I, I, was, I was fairly certain that we were, in, uh, we were in business there. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, you'll end up with, uh, with on your premises, you'll have a rusting hulk of a car, uh, and then a blanket that is covered in rusty slash uh, oily parts that you've extracted. Um, you'll feel like a million dollars, obviously enough. Oh no, what do you need from me here? Don't make me, don't make me take it all apart. Don't make me take it all apart. Go on, you'll you'll be fine. What's wrong with it? It's seventy percent, and this one is a hundred percent. Do you want a hundred percent? Do you want a better than seventy percent camshaft? I don't believe you. Uh, no, it's, it's saying it's not done, and uh, you're also you've got two busted ignition coils. Well, that's as maybe. Uh, I'll tell you what I have. Uh, I've got, and that is uh, I've taken all the ignition coils out at the moment. So that's to be understood. What I no. I don't, oh god, I'm going to take it, oh dear, oh no, oh flaming heck. Alright, alright, so the problem was that I've got a camshaft that is 70% uh, good to go, and the customer wants one that is at least 72%. How are they going to know? Huh? How, I mean, honestly, are they going to strip it when I get back home and go, hang on, I'm up, fine. If you want to pay an extra 250 quid for 2% extra quality, then you'd be my guest. But I'll tell you, I'd charge you labour on that one. I, I'd charge you labour and a flipping half on that. I had to take apart lots. So yeah, you've got your you've got your car and you've got uh, you've got your blanket filled with the oil and rusty part. I feel like we're retreading old ground here. Um, and that's it. That's as far as it goes. First weekend, you're all into it. You kind of go, oh yeah, I'm a mechanic now. And then uh, the second the weather turns a bit parky or uh, uh, or there is literally anything else you fancy doing, they'll just sit there forever. And uh, up until, you know, divorce papers are looming. Uh, and, then, uh, and then you'll stick it on eBay. Some bloke will turn up with a trailer and buy it off you for about a quarter of the price you paid for it. There you go. This is a public service announcement. Don't. Unless you are, obviously, I mean, if you if you are going to commit to the caper, um, then then commit away. But uh, I, I have to say, I I doubt your sincerity in getting a job done. That was only a seventy-one percent. I have a feeling they're going to gripe about that. No, apparently seventy-one percent is fine. Timing chain. Yeah, well, I haven't put it back on yet. Everything else appears to be fine. Reminder. Do the fluids. Do the fluids. Yes. 10-4. Fluids will be done. Oh, doing doing serpentine belts is quite good fun as well, actually. Yeah, that's, that's, 
that's quite satisfying uh line them all up and all of that kind of bit i don't look it's still paint by numbers but it's just it's the same as doing uh you know a nice landscape doing a bit of constable or something and uh, and go oh what i really like doing is the fields and you kind of go but it's it's mechanically it's exactly the same as doing any other part of it and you kind of go i don't care doing the fields is my best is my favorite bit because i get to use orange and you're gonna go well okay i mean if that's making you cheerful then you you carry on right have i have i hooked it all back up again I'll have a look in me. I would look in my inventory. My inventory is filled with a combination of uh, of busted and uh, not busted parts. Now there's a chunk timing chain. Look, there you go. Slap that on. Stick a lozenge on the end of that. Yeah, screw it in. Put a cover back on. Thank you there, Tired. I know you want to be the star of every show, but you can't be. That's it. Yeah, bang it on. That's it. Lovely. That's it. Smash in. Good. Right, are you happy now? Oh, you should be. Let's uh, let's take you off my checklist. Let's check the checklist. No, there. Right, thank you. Every all things green. We then got to redrain. I've drained the oil. Oh, or if I didn't drain it, I've tipped it all over the floor. So that's valid. Uh, we now just need to uh, do some of this action. Right. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, anytime I'm doing something sizable, I do the fluids as a matter of course, uh, because chances are I'm going to inadvertently take something off that I shouldn't. Here goes that's enough of that. All right, yeah, I gave it just a splash more. You might as well, you might as well top it up, at least to the safety line. But the wet, no, you you didn't want to do that. You just wanted to take the, the top off. Well, put it back on then. Yeah, that one. Uh, I mean, I could use an empty coke bottle, I suppose, but. I don't think it's going to have the same effect. I'm going to need to put holes in it so you can get all of the, the throughput of the the vital fluids of life. Um, so no, I think that's that's a that's a bum steer. Right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, one more. No. No. No more. Okay. It looked like there was some more space. Uh, either way, you've got plenty there. That'll keep you going for a while. Uh, although you you will have a, a negative vacuum coefficient going on in there, but I, I'm sure the engineers have accounted for that somehow. Wouldn't surprise me if there were a little pinhole somewhere in the uh, in the lid, just to ensure that uh, a negative vacuum coefficient doesn't actually happen. Yeah, it's probably not even the right terminology, but you know what I'm driving at. What am I missing? The following part is missing from the car: the power steering pump. Oh, have I not put it back on? Evidently not. It's got, oh, and the alternator. All right, okay, yeah, get that in. See, reattaching these is like doing it with your eyes closed. Uh, it's got, you go, oh no, I'm so familiar with all of this caper that I can do it without having to think about it at all. Trying to refill the, trying to refill the power steering pump there without the pump in place. Gracious me, whatever next. Still, this is what we done at the customer's watch. Uh, right, are you happy now? Happy is a very strong word. Right, let's uh, let's try that again. Uh, unmount this. There you go. Dribble, dribble, dribble. It would have told me. It 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 would have, it would have told me. It would have gone like uh, you're aware you haven't got an alternator or a water pump attached to this vehicle. You go. Oh, have I not? No, it's uh, that's why it's exploded and it's on fire at the moment. Oh, I thought it was going to be the normal reasons. Wait. Wait, you gotta put you gotta put some liquid in the radiator. Okay. Where's the where's the where's the reservoir for that? Or failing that, where's my where's my radiator cap? I don't actually I don't recall having emptying emptied the radiator. Maybe it's a solid state radiator. Sure, sure could be. Uh, anyway, let's uh, do the next one for big jobs. They do get the complimentary car wash. That's it's the least we can do. This is the uh, this is the service we provide. Uh, this is how we build customer loyalty into everything that we do. Uh, look at it; it's so shiny now. Uh, we'll we'll detail the interiors. Oh yeah. I mean, the only downside is that having washed it, you can now see its natural colour, which isn't ideal. Right. Let's see if we can give it back to that weight. It doesn't want to go back to the customer. Why not? 
I've done it. It's it's done. I've I've done this. There is nothing missing. I have I've done the job. The job is done. Why are you saying I haven't done the job? Maybe I can't send it home from the car wash. But all right, well, okay, all right, no, all right, that's fine. We'll we'll stick that out the out the garage entrance, so the customer can just come and pick it up, and I can't send it back to him. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no's right. Um. Uh. Yeah. Any ideas? Uh, drink, change the oil. I didn't put any oil in it. Okay. See, see, I had a, I had a, I had a suspicion that I'd missed something, and it was something rather critical. It, it, it won't have caught fire at all because it won't have turned over. Uh, right, let's, let's wipe that out. Put some oil in it. Okay, that's fine. I drained the oil. That was a thing that happened. Now I'm just going to put some more in, and then that will be a thing that has happened as well. Uh, and then that's probably enough. Are you happy now? Right, I'm, no, I'm not doing any more. Finish the order. Yes. What do we get? Four and a half grand and 388 experience points. Sweet as a nut. Uh, let's go and see what we'd... I'll show you what we're saving up for at the moment. Um, over here, don't know any of it. I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to look at it. Not going to look at it because it will just make me sad that I can't get it right now. I've got four skill points available. Oh... Yeah, what I want is that. I want to buy. I want a five percent discount on everything. That, I, that this is an extra five percent, so ten percent off. That's going to help me make a lot of money. But I have to have this load of old rubbish. It doesn't matter to me at the moment first, which is a shame. Uh, yeah, inspection time reduction. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, what about uh, moving around faster? I don't move around enough to make that worthwhile. You can fix stuff better. I don't have a workbench yet. Yeah. Yeah, you see why I might not be that bothered about picking these up. Uh, increase my screwing speed. Uh, I could do, I suppose. I could. But that's that's the one that's going to make the biggest difference. Well, in that case, buy this one and then save up for the next one. That's boring. Yep, I know. One more, one more skill point for that one. Fine. Fine. I'll take it. I mean, Colonel Failure, everybody, uh, that's that's another fine day accomplished here in the Workshop of Joy. I've got seven and a half Gs in the back. You can't look at what you could be buying. I'm going to look at what I could be buying. Uh, right, what have we got? A ladder. For a grand, I can, I can change how my garage looks. That's a waste of money. But I want it. I don't care. Uh, the test path. That's going to be very useful. Uh, oh, headlight calibration. That sounds like another thing that I could get into. What have what, what, what we got here? Paint shop level two. Well, you need level one first. Salvaging. Adds container equipped with stripping tools near my garage allows to salvage and upgrade parts. That's the. That's what I want. It is. It is. I do want that. That's a, that's a thing that I want. You want the dyno? No, I don't need that. The paint shop. It, it's too soon for the paint shop and I can't afford it, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, go on, buy me the salvaging whatnot. There you are, right. And uh, I've got a welding torch down there as well, but that's five large. All right, has it shown up anywhere obvious? No. I bet it's, uh, it's flashing at me. Okay, well, let's go and look at it then. Oh, hello. Hello indeed. Right, what you got? Start salvaging. That's a rubber bushing. How are we going to salvage that? Success, one thingamajig. Bonus, two thingamajigs. Big bonus, three thingamajigs. Scraps earn. What? But what are the thingamajigs you... Oh, wait, they're here. No, wait. Yes, these are upgrade points. Are they? I don't know. Yes, they are. They're upgrade points, which I can later use to turn my great cars into really great cars. I get you. Okay. All right. Cool. So presumably scrapping is just ripping it apart. Well, I can I can do this on a on a rubber bushing. Oh, I see. Close. 
Yeah, that got me some points. All right, okay, start salvage. Add. Yeah, all right, yeah, okay. Landing in the blue's tricky, I get you. Oh, I'm going early every time. The, the bearings are cheap, I can chance it. No, what, what, I decided too late there what I was going to do. Aim for the green areas. Yeah, I get that. There you are, see? Yeah, but don't you want the three? Yeah, I do, but I've got to stop going early. You're trashing all those bushings that you've got. In you know what you're doing? What? You're turning money into ex into points for later. Oh. I'm less thrilled by this. Yeah. Cheerio. Yeah, so salvaging. Later on, sure, sure, absolutely. Yeah, no, car, yeah, no, I, I get it entirely. Once you're starting to build your own cars, uh, being able to jazz up the parts and make uh, make those parts more jazzy, uh, then yeah, totally great. But uh, as it stands, I'd like the two and a half grand back, please, and um, and the parts that I just trashed. Don't need right now. What I want is I want money and I want experience uh, points. Uh, uh, in order to do, you know, upgrades and business uh, and all of that, all of that kind of caper to the point where I've got enough money to go out and, and loot for some cars and business and all of that kind of caper. Um, it's OK. No, it's fine. I didn't know what it did. And you know what? Not looking up what things do before you pay the money to to what's it? You're, you're always going to, you know, all of that. Oh, I'm coherent today, aren't I? Flaming heck. Anyway, I'm going to do one more of these before I turn this into a, uh, let's go see what's cooking at the garage. Uh, irregular kind of series. Uh, and in the next one, I'm going to go into the sandbox mode. And uh, and we're going to go dry loot a couple of barns and uh, and a scrapyard. And then maybe an auction. Just to show you the, the ways of acquiring vehicles for yourself. I, I can't guarantee that this out of control finger action won't be making a reappearance next time. You just have to tune in and find out.